Max and I'm a video game developer. What got me into video games starts a long time ago, when I was a kid. My mother got into an accident one night, and it was bad. It took her many years to recover. During that time, I felt alone and looked for comfort in games. I can't remember where it came from. We had a GameCube with only one game for it, Animal Crossing. I loved it. When my mother couldn't be there for me, my Animal Crossing mom was sending me love. This made me fall in love with video games, so I wanted to make my own to help others like how this helped me. That's why I became a game dev. And since then, I've been working freelance as a 2D game artist, making me a game dev. And I'm not alone in all this. My friend, Andrew, has also joined me. Howdy, folks. Unfortunately, my story is not as dramatic or interesting. My parents just liked games. The ones of my childhood were the Sega Genesis and the Nintendo Entertainment System. But since I became a game dev, it's been hard avoiding all the toxicity that can take place, especially on social media platforms. We've seen a lot of game devs who quit the industry or get run out of it from all of this toxicity from negative interactions with players and others. Yeah, like I have friends in AAA studios who face so much backlash that sometimes they just stopped working and gave up on being a game dev. Mm -hmm. And to uh, talk about the toxicity game devs receive, we actually have a special guest, Jonah Davidson. He's a QA from Finji with lots of experience as a game dev. My name is Jonah Davidson. I am also one of the Dirty Rectangles uh, organizers of an Ontario game dev collective. God, I love that name, Dirty Rectangles. It's a programming term so old and irrelevant that uh, nobody remembers what it was used for, but it has to do with which parts of the screen need refreshing. Sounds like a pretty good technical term to use. I remember when there was floppy disks. What got you into being a game dev? So uh, I always loved games since I was very little, but I never actually joined the industry proper until a couple of years ago when I joined Finji to help out with QA. How has it been interacting with player bases? In general, as a game dev, I've been fortunate enough to just sort of get the usual, what I call background radiation. Background radiation, I like to say, is it's the thing that causes all community managers and a lot of other game devs to retire early from this industry, which is that you just have to deal with the slow onslaught of people who are either hostile mm. because they're invested, but don't fully understand what's going on or why they're mm -hmm. not getting the thing they want. Part of being an organizer is just weathering lots of little cuts, uh, <laughs> which which do add up. can imagine having worked in a few communities myself. It's it gets crazy. You've also brought up how you've seen people leave too, just because of all of it. My friends, my colleagues uh, have dealt with everything from just annoyances to serious harassment, brigading, <sighs> threats, um, abuse of every kind. Uh, many of them mm -hmm. persisted in the industry and mm -hmm. a few of them are just gone. They just dropped out and I have never seen them again. And I also kind of can't blame them either. Even on the edge of it, as I have been, it's run the gamut from trying to remind my friends that they're not responsible for the failings of the company they work for to having to physically prevent a fist fight at a party at a game dev conference. The vast majority of players are just playing the game. Even though folks may have legitimate concerns and criticisms, the way they're presenting them may not be great. So mm -hmm. I try to take all of that with a grain of salt. Full times I work on something and I'm really proud of it and I show it to my friends, they're dead silent. So I'm like, oh, they hate yeah. it. And like I hear later on, they're like, oh, I really like this. I'm like, why did you say quiet? Yeah. Why did you say nothing? Yeah, and that's that's part of what I've always tried to encourage among my friends, among our, the community with Dirty Rectangles, among anybody in game dev, is give feedback, <laughs> both positive and negative <laughs> feedback. Be as constructive as possible, as I said, being constructive, because 
anyone can learn from that, but you can't learn from silence and you can't learn from hate and harassment. So how do you find your community then? How do you find somewhere that's safe for someone like yourself? The advice that I was given, which I have passed on to as many people as I can from an old Global Game Jam keynote that I love, keep showing up, find community. And if the community that surrounding you doesn't work for you, create community. And the best way to build a community is to do good work and stick around. We, we have our code of conduct and we bring it up at the beginning of every meetup. And every time you come to one, there or online, you are agreeing to the rules of that code of conduct. It's not mm-hmm. legally binding, yeah. but also we can just kick you out if we want to. Yeah. We don't want to like come in here in a toxic space. We want to be like, hey, here's my idea. Uh, it's like a fun idea. Exactly. And if there are terrible people in this industry and they're going to stick around even after they're publicly revealed to be terrible and they're going to keep on doing harm, then whatever toxicity I weather as an organizer, as a moderator, as a creator is less important than me sticking around to help support and build good folks up. Hey, that's an amazing stance to take, honestly. More people were like that. We'd see things were a lot better for everyone. That's honestly a great note to end on, honestly. Cheers. Well, Max, how are we feeling now that we've talked to Jonah? I feel so much better. Knowing that there's communities out there for game devs like us, a place where we can get support and share our ideas. This made me want to continue in the industry, and knowing that together, we can help combat some of this toxicity by educating what goes into games, explaining things like bugs, rewrites, and delays, but in a fun way so that we can help build a healthy bridge of communication between everyone. Thanks Thanks for for watching. watching. Thank you.